welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and today guys we're going to be continuing with our Enterprise D build so we are going to do stage 30 of build the Enterprise D now this is the last stage in the uh, pack 8 that we got so I am now awaiting on pack 9 I'm hoping it will be with me this week um, because it did get dispatched I think it was either last week or the, maybe the end of the week before I'm not, I can't remember but um, hopefully Pac-9 will be with me very soon. Not a lot to do in today's stage, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, we do have another saucer panel to do, but we're actually not doing anything with it. We're not actually putting it onto the saucer section. So uh, this should be a nice, quick, easy one to end this pack with. So uh, I think we'll better get started with this one. So with all that said, let's get modeling. Program complete. Enter when ready. <laughs> Okay, so stage 30, it does actually say at the end of this short stage you'll, uh, you'll uh, have another light up section saucer ready to be added to the upper skeleton, upper skeleton at a later date. So here is our, our panel. Now I've already put some masking tape on and what we need to do is we need to put the windows in. So here are the windows. And um, yeah, we'll start putting these in. I think this is going to be the hardest bit of this build. Three. Uh, quite a lot of black on this top one. So yeah, uh, nice quick stage to end the pack with. Um, which isn't bad. Uh, there seems to be a lot more clear windows in this uh, panel than there is black windows. But, uh, yeah. So we'll start in a second with the clear ones. We've got this bottom row to put these in. They can be fiddly. Um, or they can be, they don't want to go away exactly where you want to put them. Uh, and sometimes they just don't want to pick up and go in at all. Um, which can be a pain, but what can you do? Uh, some of them seem to go in easily, others just, yeah. And we'll get these in. Now what I might do with this one is I might have to leave the masking tape on the outside and the reason for that is we do put an LED into this but we don't, it should have sort of three going into it from the reflective panel or two and by the looks of it um, we put one in but I don't think we put one until this is actually on the... Uh, we're putting it onto the saucer section, which means we're going to have to lift up the uh, reflective backing just to put it in. And I would much prefer to leave the tape on so none of these windows come flying out. But I can sort of show you um, it lit up. At the end because we do test it so we do get left with one spare uh, uh, black window in this one which is fantastic so far Uh, 
Uh, I don't know if we're going to have any spare uh, clear windows. Two. Remember, guys, I always keep my spares uh, just in case you might have an issue where the, the uh, sprues of the windows are lost, and instead of ordering any other issue, you might think, Well, instead of that, I'm waiting, I'll just. Uh, I'll just pop them, get the spares out. Okay, so that's all the windows in. And we do, we get four spare windows, uh, clear ones. Okay, so with that in place, we'll bring the reflective panel across. That's going to sit on there just like so. Now, this is what I was meaning earlier about it. Um, we need to put the wire in. Now, it's going to be the white and yellow wire so this is just gonna pop in i think we have to kind of curve the the wire around let's just try and pop this in as it is yes we do uh with that in there we need to sort of curve it like that and then I'll put it back on because it should stay in position just like that now this is what I'm saying about when we put it on I may have to uh, lift this bit because we've got no LED going into there whatsoever so that's why I'm on about uh, leaving the tape on Okay, now that needs to be secured in with three BP screws. So here are the BP screws. Now, one thing I did do on this, uh, which I did the other night, is I've actually gone around and labelled every single wire. Um, that's here on the saucer section and everything um, because when we come to put it on the PCB board I need to know which wire goes where and um, so it's just not very confusing I thought I'll take a bit of time and um, yeah uh, label all the wires so it's going to be easier for me okay so that's nearly on okay so that is on so i'm just going to attempt to <coughs> just to test this uh to make sure it's lit up which it should do okay so we've got that led that's lit up and that one is lit up it's really hard to see on this side but the uh the windows are lit up but i'm going to leave this masking tape on uh, until we fit this onto the saucer section and we put an LED in there because I last thing I want I mean it doesn't look too bad but I'd just rather leave it on so that is all there is to do in this uh, stage so I'm just going to unplug that but what I am going to do is I'm just going to write on here what uh, stage this panel came in which was uh, get a better pencil which was 30. Well, there we go. That is that finished. We do get this lovely piece for our Cobra neck um, that uh, we've been given, but we're not actually doing anything with this until later on in the next pack. So that needs to be put away and stored safely, but it does look rather nice lot of windows on there a lot a lot of windows on there but guys that's all there is to do in this stage so that is stage 30 complete 
Well, guys, that's it for stage 30 and pack 8 of the Enterprise D. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it's a shame we're not putting them panels on the saucer section yet, but uh, it is looking rather, rather nice, I've got to admit. Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely going to leave that tape on until we come to fit it. Now, I'm thinking the panels that we're doing at the moment, to be perfectly honest for you, we've been working on, I think it's the right side of the saucer section, and we're actually now doing panels for the left side, but we're not fitting them. I don't know why that is or anything else like that. It's just the way it seems to be at the moment. But uh, yeah, now I've just got to wait for pack nine to come and we're going to continue with our build. So fingers crossed that comes through the door any day. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please could you give me a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.